Hello, my fellow viewers and subscribers, and this is Super Truck Box Shake, and I am here playing a game called The Backrooms, which was submitted to the Scare Me Shakeless Jam. Now, I have something to admit to. Okay, so I've already fired up this game twice already, okay? Once actually to do another recording. I'm not gonna lie. When you fire up the game twice, and, uh... You already start asking yourself, am I sure I want to do this? I mean, you've already pretty much made a pretty good horror game. Uh, okay, so first of all, I'll give you my little what little knowledge I know of the back rooms. And basically, that is this. Um, <laughs> um, basically, what little knowledge I know of the back rooms happens to be the fact that the back room seems to be a government uh, experiment to create more storage than could I ever possibly imagine. However, instead, it backfires and kind of goes completely and totally out of control, creating almost like a parallel dimension that anybody can no clip back into. Or at least, this is from what my understanding is. Otherwise, I don't really know necessarily too much of... Oh, yes, and also there's other creatures that happen to be living inside this world. I don't know if it's manifestations or not, but, well, okay, I don't really necessarily know all the lore of the back rooms. All I know is... What little I know. So, yeah. And, of course, you know, I think it's a great concept to build a video game off of and a horror game off of. Especially if you're using a game engine like Source. Because Source is really, really creepy sometimes, if you haven't noticed. And, I mean, that's kind of what I get off of watching those videos, too. It's an absolute old Gmod vibe. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to fire up the back rooms and, well, here we go. Like I said, all I know is that you wander around inside the back room, so. I am feeling chills. I am feeling chills. I am feeling chills. All I know is that if I hear a monster, it's probably heard me, so I should run. Or it's game over anyway. That's the thing. I don't know if I could ever do something like this in real life. Oh, this is creepy, but you managed to land that really well. Well, fudge, it's a dead end. Hopefully there's nothing chasing me already. Not another one. And I know escape doesn't leave. I have to press Alt F4. I just walk around in a circle? I can't tell anymore. I know I'm remaining awfully silent, but that's because I'm actually kind of scared. I got chills all the way down my spine. Man. You did a really good job here. You did a really fantastic job with this. I heard something in real life and then I freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, guys, I torture myself for your benefit. 
Did I, have I already been here? Oh, jeez. I can't tell anymore. I also remember playing a Backrooms fan game uh, for uh, the Brat Keys Jam, too. Oh, man. That, well, I mean, I thought it was actually okay-ish, but, I mean, there was more of a goal and an incentive here. This is just ra aim aimless wandering, though. I think if there was a goal or an incentive, like trying to escape the back rooms, then, of course, it'd probably make more sense. But, uh, well, right now it's just like aimless wandering until you find the monster and it kills you. Whatever the heck this monster is, I don't even know what this monster is. Do I think I want to find out? No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Is this another dead end? It's another dead end. Can't go down this direction. I saw something over there! I thought I saw something! My fight or flight senses are tingling. Because like I said, I thought I saw something over there. Can I do this? Is the actual question I need to ask? Or should I be doing this? Is the question I actually need to have ask. Oh wow! Actually this is a game that's using all of my GPU! This is the very first time I've ever seen a game actually do that. And you know... Then again, maybe I don't have very many GPU-heavy games, but who knows. I know, I'm just standing here. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? I could be playing something different. I could be playing something a little more peaceful. I could be playing a game like, oh, I don't know, Ghostbusters for the Switch, or... Uh, um, how about Metroid Dread? Actually, I enjoy that game, even though that game's also pretty scary, too. Um, how about, um, 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 or how about Five Nights at Freddy's? I'd probably play that. I wouldn't mind playing that. I thought I saw something over out of the corner of my eye. I must be going crazy. Uh, if this was a ranked competition again... Based on scariness, you definitely won. Now, I, I would definitely change my winning position here. I don't know if I can keep doing this. <laughs> Man, I'm definitely not as brave like every other YouTuber out there, huh? Oh, man. And, you know, I only do this once a year, you know? And... Holy moly, it is really maxing out my GPU. Right now, the GPU temp is at 64 degrees Celsius. That's 64 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's almost, like, boiling... No. 
Well, it's not exactly almost boiling point of water. 100% Celsius would be... 100 degrees Celsius would be boiling point of water, but... Uh... <sighs> But it's really pushing my GPU to its limits, though. The CPU actually seems to be the lowest running item on my computer right now, which is kind of weird. Most of the time, whenever I play a game like this, uh, where it's graphically kind of nice look and it's like the GPU and the CPU seems to be split in the load 50-50 or sometimes it's the CPU carrying the load and the GPU is like 50%. Now it's like the GPU is just 100% all the way and the CPU is just barely idling at like what 18%, 17%, 20%. I'm just going to give it a uh, average about uh, 19%. I'll give it about an average of about 19 to 17%. Well, Okay, it's jumping from 20, so I guess I'll go for, uh, yeah, 20%. I'll probably go for 20%, an average of 20%. I don't know if I can keep doing this, though. I mean, I think part of the utilization may also be the screen capture software itself, but... Uh, I haven't discovered any monsters yet, though. Like I said, I don't know what the goal is here. Gosh, dang it. Even the sound of the washing machine in the room next door and Gracie digging her claws into my... Look, Gracie, please stop. Please. Please stop. Please. Please stop. Is getting on my nerves here. I don't know if I should keep playing this. <laughs> do I really want to do this to myself? Do I really want to do this to myself? I almost feel like I see something out of the corner of my eye, but I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe it's the vin, the vin, the vignette, the vignette, the vin, the the, the, the whatever the heck it is around the. Uh, I think it's probably that that's really making me scared here, too. That that definitely helps. I can't really necessarily see that much. Because that's the difference between this Backrooms game and the Backrooms game that was submitted to the Brackies Jam. The Backrooms game submitted to the Jack Brackies Jam was... Uh, oh... Oh, the Backrooms game for the Brackies Jam wasn't all that scary. Only due to the fact that... Uh, The Backrooms game submitted to the Jeprakis Jam is, was actually not that scary because everything was pretty much lit up and there was quite a large point of view. This, you don't really have much to see here. And I mean, this is probably what's helping with how much scary it is. And the ambiance, oh man, definitely. I mean, all you hear is buzzing of lights. That's it. That's all you hear. And that's like... Man, this guy really knows how to make this game work, doesn't he? Uh, fan speed's up to 70%, still at 65 degrees Celsius. Okay, yep, I'm definitely clocking this card here, though. This is definitely a good benchmark for this card. But I don't know if I keep doing this. Ah, ah. Ah, Gracie, 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 stop. Gracie, stop. She's digging her claws into my legs, and right now I'm wearing pajamas that are thin as a... Actually, they got big old holes down the sides of them, so unfortunately I got nothing but bare leg exposed, so... She's digging my claws into, directly into my legs. <laughs> I know she's a kitty, and I know she wants attention, and she's a very old kitty, but... And she wants attention. But, you know, now's not the good time. I mean, maybe she's just trying to calm me down from my own panic and anxiety and tell me, it's okay, John, it's just a game, John, it's just a game. Man, my adrenaline's kicking in and I don't like it! <laughs> it 
And you know what's even worse about this? I come from Wyoming, and basically I have this navigation method of basically just trying to pick a direction and go for it. Because sometimes more than likely you're going to most likely end up where you're going to need to go anyway. Because uh, that's kind of how a lot of roads in Wyoming work. Because, I mean, like, for example, if you want to go to, oh, I don't know, you're in Cheyenne and you want to go up to, I oh, uh, ba, 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 ba. oh, uh, Jackson, Jackson Hole. Uh, well, it's Jackson to most, to most of the people who live up there, but basically all you got to do is, if you're from Cheyenne, basically you just got to go from, go northwest, basically. Go as northwest as much as you possibly can. Follow any road, first of all, follow the road that goes north. Go down I-25, pick the, go to Casper, keep going west, and then as soon as you hit... Oh, ow, 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 Gracie, stop with the claws. Ah, oh, great, you're stuck to my leg. Look at that, now you're tearing a hole in my pants, and I don't like it, because there's already holes in my pants. <laughs> stop, I know you want attention, girl. Please stop, I'm kind of busy. <sighs> She's became my cat of reason, I don't know why. I mean, granted, I don't normally always feed her, but sometimes I do. Uh, maybe that's what she's bothering me about. It's that she's hungry and I have to feed her still. Still, you did a good job clocking my GPU. I don't know why I'm just standing still and talking to you guys. I should be moving, but I... I, mm, mm. I have to admit it. I'm actually scared here. I am actually 100% legitimately scared. I don't know what to do, and I don't have any clue of where I'm going. Granted, I think that would be one thing that would help this game out a lot, is if I had an ulterior goal. Otherwise, it's just pointless wandering. Um, but other than that, that's all the critical feedback I got. Otherwise, you've got something going here. I mean, basically, I think there is just the thing where I have to find a way back into reality, but I don't know. I don't know when the randomness will end. And I don't know! Have I seen this room before? <laughs> oh, boy. Maybe I should just end the recording here. Even though nothing scary has happened yet, probably that's the scariest thing about this video. Or maybe I should just have, like, a random jump scare just happen right here. I don't know. Anyway. Am I sure I want to keep going? 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 I'm... I don't know if I really want to do it with this cat I'm trying to climb up onto my lap, though. And now she's rubbing up against my arm. So I wonder, does this game actually use my mic? If so, the sponsor probably would have heard me by now. No, honestly, I think that would be a fascinating feature about having a backrooms game that also uses the mic, so that, you know, if you start screaming, yelling, or talking, or anything like that, you could screw yourself over. Hey, that's another interesting feature idea. Uh, write it down. Add that to the game. That might make things a little more interesting for people. So that, you know, when they stand around and talk like this, well, they'll have to get moving eventually, because they'll run into the monster. Or whatever's roaming around back here. I have no idea. And I haven't seen anything of it yet. Or I think I might have saw something of it yet, but I'm not quite sure. I haven't heard the monster, haven't seen anything of the monster. Heck, actually, I don't even think this monster even exists! Well, actually, now saying that makes me a little more braver. I don't know why. But anyway. I guess that's the back rooms? Um, I could press... For a moment there, I thought I saw something. Or maybe it's just in my mind. Mm, it's hard to tell at this point. Anyway, so anyway, I guess that's the back rooms. And really, I think this is actually pretty scary. And it's a lot scarier than the game that was submitted for the Brackeys game earlier this year, but uh, overall, actually, I'd say it's pretty good. Again, I think you probably need to have a little bit more of a goal, like maybe getting from point A to point B or figuring out how to do that, especially with the fact that it seems to be randomly generating rooms, especially from a very specific set of uh, 
tiles for rooms. Like, maybe, uh, well, okay, yeah, you know clipped out of reality. Yep, but, but you're also trying to find the little workers that work here, too. Well, I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily going to work, because I know the fungal's disease that's inside the back rooms would probably get out into reality, and that's not good. But, uh, well, yeah, you got something really good going on here, and I am very impressed. I am probably not going to continue on for the sake of my own sanity, and for the sake of I need to get this cat to leave me alone right now. So, anyway... <laughs> Yep, like I said, maybe a goal, and actually, maybe adding a bit of mic support so that the monster can hear you using the mic would be a fantastic idea. It would make a very interesting game for YouTubers to play. So anyway, uh, yep, that's all I gotta say. Please be sure to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. This is Super Chocolate Milkshake, signing off!